Poor Hardy. I'm the only one on the plane going into camp. I put my life jacket on. I shall put these in here. Okay. Yeah. Going back into camp. Hopefully the woods are big this time. Going up for a short shift. Great weather. Yeah. Ah, just a small little plane, this one. My gear, my saws. I don't have the 592 uh, yet. Um, the saw sh local saw shops uh, haven't gotten them in yet. So that's the 372. That's my little saw. It's a 390. Still have to put some different uh, padding on here. I haven't done that yet. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Nice sunny day.
watch us. Yeah. <laughs> Your time is just right, eh? When to cut the motor? Yeah. Try to. Sometimes you screw it up. <laughs> 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 there he is. <laughs> so there used to be way more stuff. I mean, it's still floating above the water. Yeah. And this, so this is a, a donkey, or uh, uh, is it a donkey? Yeah, this was an A-frame. So this is a diesel donkey, not steam. Okay. So we're on some lake middle of nowhere here. We hiked, hiked from camp up this road across the slash through the bush. I guess, I don't know, 10, 15 years ago, there was, were you saying there was a whole bunch, there was a big floating raft of logs holding this up. And then uh, a slide came over on the other side of the lake and the big, the wave, the wave that it generated damaged it. Oh, we're gonna have to go over. We have to go on the shore here. When do you think that was an operation? Um, well, the old hermit that lived here? Yeah. He was younger than the first one. Oh, really? And then there's another machine just around the point, and that's really cool. You can climb all over it without drowning. Is it far? No. Oh, let's go check that one out, too. If we can even get to this one. So it's probably from the 30s, 40s. I think I can get to it. Yeah, I think I can get to it. Okay, uh, turn this off for a sec. Okay. I'm on the log now. Surprised these logs are holding up. That's a lot of weight right there. Must have quite a few layers of logs crisscrossed underneath there to hold this up. Wow. When we came here years ago, the first thing my old foreman did was lay down. And he goes, look. And I'll, because it used to run out this way. And uh, you look and it was just stacked. Oh, big berries, big pumpkins. And I think, uh, it, like a couple thousand meters of wood <laughs> took to make this thing float. <laughs> or something like that. It was a, it's probably sitting on bottom. It's probably yeah. why it hasn't sank. That's right. It was an astronomical number. And I thought, wow. Well, same forestry, like it's pretty much all gone now. You can tell forestry, hey, I'll come clean this stuff up. Yeah. Because that uh, oil's going to get into the lake if you let me take the wood. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool. Wow. Man. I mean, how'd they even get this on this lake, hey? They must have like, from the barge, pulled this off the barge onto the, onto the ground, across the forest and into the lake. Yeah, where the, the next machine is, there's a, like a, a, a road they've been dragging shit over for years back there. Oh yeah. I think that's exactly how they did it. Yeah. So this stuff, like, this this was all pointed out this way before. And uh, so there's one of the big blocks right here. There's more hanging off the front. Man, this thing should be just full of red cool. ball blocks, like teardrop shape, really tall, narrow ones. Cool. Man. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff here.
giant radiator. This must be the fuel drum. Tin roof. And the belts are even still in here. That must be the air compressor. Yeah. Well, let's climb over it. Cummins Diesel? Off the top here. Oh yeah. Cummins, uh, no. Cummins Dependable Diesel. <laughs> How do you like the operator's chair? Where? Right beside you. Look at that little fucking thing. Where? It's right there, man. You sat right there. Oh, right here. Uh -huh. Oh, this is where he sat. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, there's the controls. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, still moving. Yeah. Right here, like you would just be getting thrashed with branches and shit. <laughs> like this would not be fun, man. <laughs> you ever hear Grandpa's story about the, the guy they thought was a queer in camp? Really? <laughs> no, no. no. He's like, and then I came out here and I understood. He's like, yeah, he goes, well, it was queer in camp. Well, then he stops like, well, we all thought he was queer. Anyways, we didn't want him around anymore, so we made him go up the tree. And he didn't really go up the tree, but we made him go up the tree in the past chain and switch some blocks. Or I can't remember what he told the guy he had to do. And you're ready, just give us a second sign, and we'll let you down. And as you come down, just keep pushing off the tree. Right? And you kind of keep pushing yourself away, right? Yeah, yeah. And he goes, you can get, he goes, you can really feather these machines, these controls. You get one foot above and one below the brakes. You can really feather. The buddy gave him a wave. Grandpa said he just fucking jumped to the fucking slap. And he's coming out of this fir tree, old girl fir tree, like massive <laughs> tall, just screaming at Dutch. It's like, and the guy's just sitting in a, in a looped chain. Right? There's no arms. Like, Woof. And he says there was bark coming off the fucking tree. And before he hit the ground, he said he just feathered him off. He said, buddy, got out of the chain and fucking left. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You know, man, they would throw funny. you in jail for that now. Like, oh, they would. Like, harassment. Like, that, that, that would be, like, top-notch. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can't do that, sir. <laughs> the crazy stuff they did back in the day. Oh, no. That's cool. It's got foot pedals, two foot pedals. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, yeah, what do we got here? <laughs> yeah. The haul back. And we have the main line. Because the haul back is a smaller line. And the main pulling line. So. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Okay, I'll turn Here's the next one just down the beach. There's the big logs it's sitting on. Man, this is cool. This is so cool. Look at that. Wow. That's cool. Okay, so this is, I see no seat, but there's some foot levers. Probably be some old tires. Yeah, some more levers here. And there's a gauge. That's cool, I got counter weights for the levers. Awesome. There's a straw line drum. All right. This line's a lot thinner. So guys can haul it up the hill. This is 
the pump that goes in the uh, goes in the uh, drum there. Hand crank pump. You got it. Come along. That's for a whole bunch of bolts. What is this thing? I guess the cable goes through here. That's how they move this. They winch it around. Oh yeah. It's actually pretty long this setup. Huh. Oh, what a nice day. Nice cool breeze. Another one we were at was just around the corner there. Let's see if we can find some names. Let's, uh, I can't really read that. Some modern stuff, some garbage. Huh. Actually, let's go the other side. Um, let's check out the motor. Well, look at all the chains. You got uh, four chains. There we go. I see something. Wilson Equipment Co. Did a little road trip after dinner. I don't even know where camp is from here. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know where we are. I'm completely lost. Um, so my cousin was telling me to get the open ocean, you got to go around that little island there to the left, and then you eventually get out to the open ocean. It's kind of nice out here. Uh, we got the, the ETV doing a little road trip. I'm gonna check out some uh, quartz crystals. Check out that little pocket of blowdown over there. Not very much, but keep an eye out for some more. Right. Nice view out here. Yeah, pretty nice. Rich? Well, uh, you can see where all his money is. Wow. That's some old beater equipment here. Look at that thing. <laughs> What's that? Oh, right, right. It's worth a lot of money now. First day, first morning. Yeah, I'll show you guys some more later. Well, it's gonna be a wet one today. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for that. There I am. So dropped off. I'm hiking up to that snag right there. I'm gonna start in that area. I'm supposed to be feel up there ready. There's my cousin right there in the orange. Jared. And then the other guys. Just over there in the pickup. It's gonna be a wet, miserable day. First day of the shift. It's gonna be fun though, working with my cousin. Yeah, but it looks like a big gout show. It's gonna be a bit of a nightmare. Stuff leaning every which way and uh, hang ups and snags and yeah, it's okay though. Still be fun. Um, and then I got to, uh, the whole chuck this here just recently. And so all the walk log trails are ripped up. So I have to make a new trail here. And uh, yeah, so. Interesting first day. 
Okay, so that was spot. There's my trail ribbon. Pink. There's Jared over there. And then another partner over there. I'm in the middle. Someone else left some fuel here for me, so that's nice. And I just made a trail uh, for my gear. So I'm removing my gear. And I'll show you guys what I'm up against here. So I'm overdressed, even though it's raining. A little overdressed. Get a little hot. And uh, I forgot to go pick up a new camera so I could use my phone for this shift to make videos. And, come on. Okay. I packed way too much gear. <laughs> so, okay, I'll show you. Got leaners everywhere. Got a leaner leaning up the hill. This one's leaning out into the opening. I got lots of uh, trees here that are half dead. Like the whole tree's dead except that one little side top there. So a lot of trees like that. Okay, there's a broke off leaner, right? Broke off, leaning up in the timber, hung up in something. There's two more leaners leaning that way. And this guy right here, snag, leaning heavy this way. There's another snag leaning this way. Yeah, this thing is hung up. And then you got this little stuff. You gotta get down. And then there's a fresh blowdown. Well, not fresh as in like in the last month, but a few years ago, this got blown down. And blew all this down. I bucked this down first thing this morning. There's another blow down that happened years and years and years ago, right? This thing blew down. It's up, uh, uprooted right there. But then it kept growing, right? It grew up to a tree again. I'll go around this way. <clears throat> See? Isn't that cool? I fell down and then it started bending back up and growing back up into a tree. Now, and there's that other heavy leader hung up in something else. So, right there, another leaner lean down. So, it's going to be a bit of a challenge, but it's okay. It makes the uh, day go by a little faster when you always got something you got to. Oh, camera lenses. Some water on it. Where is it? There it is. Yeah, so nothing really big. There's a decent sized one for here. Nothing really that big though. Oh, it looks like there's another good size one right over there. Get there later on today. And we're not bucking anything. I'll probably, they, they say we don't have to buck anything. It's, everything's small enough they can just move full length, but I might take a log out of that one because it's 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 a pretty good size. If it, if it doesn't break in the middle or something, you know, if it lays out nicely, I'll have to cut it. In. But um, the bush is fairly thick. It's not that bad, really. Uh, it's pretty easy getting around. It's uh, thick enough, you kind of got to cut your way through some stuff, but it's not too bad. I've seen worse. Yeah, it's going to be a wet day today. It's just a light drizzle right now, so it's kind of nice. Yeah, so not the greatest. I was hoping for some bigger wood, but I'm only here on a short shift. Then I'm going to do a heli job. I've got about a month of heli after this shift, so do... Uh, to a short shift with my cousin. Um, I don't think we'll get this block done before the end of this sh my shift. I don't think. I have a better idea maybe by tomorrow because there's three of us and it's going to shorten down to two of us and then the two of us will finish it. I don't know, maybe me and my cousin will finish it. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, and then there's supposed to be some this company that I'm working for right now is supposed to have some big wood in the next block, but I, I probably won't be here for that. I'll be doing my the heli job, so that one's that one's going to be fun. I'm pretty excited about that one. I, I heard there's some big wood there, so pretty excited about that one. Yeah. So let's get going here. Let's get some something done, so I don't know. I don't know. I'll just, I'll, maybe I'll wait until I'm ready to fall out on there and turn the camera back on. Because all this little stuff's boring, nothing to see. I did make my GoPro, but 
Uh, I got my other helmet. It doesn't have the attachment for the GoPro, so I got the chest pack. So I don't really know how well that's gonna work, but it's in camp. I'll have to bring it out tomorrow. So today it'll just be the phone. And my cousin's already beating me. He's already got a few trees down. That's his first big one in the morning, I think. So I better get cracking. <clears throat> that's a cool looking tree. That's a cool looking tree too. It's like a pine. Yeah. Right on. Okay. Okay, first for another day. Oh, that got you. Thanks. Uh, Jared checking in on me. Okay, so th that's cut up. It's all mushy and and uh, talk, but it's all cut up. Okay. So look at this. I got this dead tree here growing out of this one. Cedar here, and uh, wants to fall. That way, so I'm gonna fall it right into there. Um, yeah, I'm gonna fall it right into there, and then uh, I'll get this big one here next. If, if I were to fall this one first, this one would break it. So I'm gonna fall this one first, this big one here first. That right now in there. Yeah. So I'm running the 572. It's not stock, it's walkerized. It means it's hopped up but by a local saw shop, walker saw shop in Nanaimo. Uh, so it's got pretty good. And it's a 36 inch bar, steel bar, steel chain. And I haven't followed it yet, brand new chain, just put it on. It's cut pretty good. Uh, and I just see on Instagram, a bunch of other guys just got the 592s and It's weird, it's, it's like everyone on the planet's got 592s and we we're just getting them. So like Europe had them like a year ago, it seems like, and and uh, here in Western Canada, it's like we're just getting them now. Like I already got my name on one at the Walker Saw Shop, and they're gonna hop it up too. They're gonna walk right that one. Who wants to run a stock saw, right? So uh, I just said, phone me when it's done. So hopefully, by the end of this shift and my next uh, my next job, that uh, heli job, I'll have the 592. So I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, but this one's cutting pretty good, right? Uh, the 572 is going pretty good. Okay, let's put this somewhere I can get the back cat right over there. Put, put the camera.
Oh, thought it was gone. I thought it was gonna go. Oh, I missed that short stubby snag there. It's more like, it's not even a, it's just like a shell. That's just like a little shell. Go we'll push it over by hand. Oh yeah, <laughs> just fell off the rotten stuff. There you go. Sometimes that's how you gotta do it. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so I'll get that one. Let's lead in this way. Um, yeah. And then I got all this little stuff to get for quite a while. <laughs> I don't know. There's a decent one over there. Lots of hang ups and everything. But um, if you want to get the sweater, I got I renamed my website. It's now Wood Boss. I think it sounds cooler. So one of the one of you commenters came up with the Wood Boss idea. His name it Wood Boss. So thanks. I changed it to Wood Boss. Uh, .ca. And I got some uh, merch like uh, some my own logo I made up. I got a, I got another one coming up too. We gotta wait till get out of camp because the satellite internet here is just terrible. So yeah, I gotta wait. Um, so say something else. I can't remember now. <laughs> oh, well. okay, back to work. Yeah, I guess uh, there's a shortage of bars. All the saw shops are out of 36 inch bars because of the war in Crimea. That's the rumor anyway. So all my bars in camp are all reconditioned. I ground them myself and I got one cannon bar. So I'll get the, I'll get the shift in though. I got four reconditioned bars if you more than enough. So 
we'll see. You never know, you might bend a bar or two and camp, right? So always gotta bring lots of spare stuff, so. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's been, I don't know, half hour. So I got a heavy leaner there. I gotta open up for, in the bush here, open up a hole for it. Get that short stubby snag there. I'm gonna get this big one here too. But uh, I'm gonna file up and uh, I need a new uh, round file, so I put my round files in there. Got my spare tape there, and my parts kit. So rewind spring, that right there, for uh, 390. And I got, uh, I haven't even touched my travel mug, tea. I'm just too hot. Got Gatorade I brought from home, ball of water, my lunch, a map for the block, right? Uh, extra lunch, trail ribbon, my personal first aid kit. It's got a pretty good setup. Uh, my tripod, extra chain. I should actually left that camp. Gloves, insulated a, a little too hot. Oh right, I forgot I threw these in at home. I'm gonna empty some stuff out here. And extra chain, more extra chain. I got lots of extra unnecessary stuff in here. Oh man. Yeah, way too much stuff. I'm steaming. <laughs> so I'll make uh, my next video. I'll do a, a little uh, filing up tutorial. It's just too wet and risible now. I'll, I'll do the next video. Yeah. So, yeah. Get that one next. Okay, so I decided to take this one first before that one. It's another yellow cedar. That was a yellow cedar. And uh, if you've never smelt yellow cedar, you're missing out. It's got a very unique smell. Very strong, very unique smell. It's just awesome. Yeah, it's uh, any old... Uh, old time loggers out there, you know what it smells like. I like it, it smells really cool. Yeah. I should sell yellow cedar sawdust. <laughs> Just so you guys can see what it smells like. Okay. Oops. It's uh not the best way to do it. Look at this. There you go. Actually, how is that? There you go. Zoom to cut. Okay. Uh. 
Sorry about that, I didn't mean to wiggle the camera. Oops. Okay, on to that one next.
Twice. <laughs> oh man, got my rock in that rock. Let's check it out. Yeah, look at that. All right, right out in the middle there. Wasn't really leaning that hard, but it was just so much rot. Pinched me pretty quick. I'll cut that slab there. Huh. So, what I'm doing now, okay, it was a heavy leaner, right? Lean heavy up the hill. So I'll get this stubby stag, get all this little stuff. Uh, this little stuff right here. So I have a nice safe opening to drop this thing down into here. Drop it down to there. And then, <clears throat> and then I'll take off this point right here. <clears throat> and then I'll be pretty much level from about here all the way across to there. And then I got a little point right there. So I want to get this done before my cousin. Uh, it's down over there, and he wants to jump into here, so I want to make a nice uh, straight, fla uh, straight face um, for when he comes in here. Yeah. So, it's going along pretty good today, so far. Chicken wing. <laughs> and, uh, where is he? There he is. Okay, watch this. Watch this. Let's throw another wing out. Just gotta go plant this. Like a bit of a breeze and quite a bit more rain now. Yeah. So I moved. I couldn't finish that point there because the wind's blowing that way and there's a couple of trees that are leading that way. So left that for Jared and I worked a little hole here and then I'm just working over to this low point over here. So you see there's a bit of a slope right here, right? So I want to get everything below it uh, and maybe a couple of those on the slope. Then I'll jump to that point over there. So this one here, it's a short one, but it's a nice one. Oh, maybe three feet, not quite three feet at the butt, maybe.
Cuts didn't quite light up, so I had to fix it. Yeah. Okay. Starting the back cut here. boss that's the boss <laughs> good inspected first day so just gotta check my work make sure I'm doing a good job and on look there's a truck right there that's a long ways away though Moving gear. I could have just went along my face up there, but that's just, I don't have any trail over there. It's just a nightmare. So it's just easier to go on the logs here. Yeah, that big one there. Whew. Another good sized one there. Look at that. Today's going pretty good. The boss came and checked out my work. Anytime you go on a new job site, the supervisor has to uh, check your work and make sure you can follow to the standard. Just to make sure you've got the skills that your ticket says you have. You do everything safely. So, looks like I'm gonna have to get a new raincoat. This one doesn't meet the code. But I like this raincoat. It's like the best raincoat out there. It just doesn't come with high-vis stripes. So I put these on myself, eh? I, I had sewn this on with the sewing machine. And then I glued the where the threads went through on the inside. Works great. Yeah, so you can see I got a point here. I'll show you. So 
The face goes way in there. There's a big point here. This point's put up on a, uh, on a ridge, right? So the, I fell up to the slope there. And the point kind of comes out to here. It goes up on this ridge right here. And then, so it goes out like this, up on this ridge, and it slopes down, and then it curves around like that. I can show you. Go over here. See how it curves right back around? All right, comes out, curves back around in there. So I got this point here I gotta take now. I got a bit of a breeze. It's not too windy to shut us down, but I can use the breeze to work in my favor now. So now I can fall wood. Um, well, the breeze is going this way, but I don't want to fall all my wood that way. It's going to cross all that wood down there. I could break it. So I'll throw it in an angle. The road's that way anyway, so if I can get the tops out towards the road. Look at that huge yellow cedar that broke off. Like 30, 40 feet up. So it broke right off. Uh, maybe 20 feet up. It's tough to tell from here. So there's going to be a big boat down there somewhere. Up there. Okay, fill up, go back to work. Okay, it looks like I put my foot in my mouth there because this tree got a heavy lean to the left. I wanted to put it out that way, but it's leaning heavy this way. I don't want to cross this timber, so I'm going to fall it. I'm going to brush past this guy and then hopefully the top will just land on the butts of those logs down there. Yeah, it's a good size yellow. Oh, I got water in the lens again. Okay, let's uh, put it on this guy right here. Is that right? There we go, nice and level. Right there. Okay, I forget how to do this now.
a small undercut because it's got a good lean so I don't need to put a big undercut in and it's hollow you certainly pitch me a little bit and look at didn't have to go in far and it was, it was hollow so this is gonna go over pretty easy so this here I gotta cut this in a way so that it doesn't pinch me and it, and it doesn't barber chair. So I'm gonna have to cut this in a certain way and I don't know exactly what that is until I start cutting. But get the far side so it starts to pinch me. Come around, scrap around, bore out the middle, and then cut the strap that I leave in the back. That's the plan. side that separated cut much. There's a pretty good breeze coming this way. So easy to get pitched, completely hollow, rotten. That section there 
split off when I cut it. It's just a good thing I did what I did. I well, probably wouldn't have barbed hair. There's just nothing to the barbed chair. There's no, it's, it's all hollow, right? So, but, okay. Uh, that's probably it for today. It's a bunch of little stuff now. It's only an hour left in the day. I did a good three hours of just hammering wood down since I filmed until the last time. So I was way over there. I was way over there um, last time I filmed. So yeah, I'm gonna get a bunch done now. Um, yeah, <laughs> okay. See you guys later. <laughs> okay, so I got one more tree for the end of the day. Big yellow cedar. This one's uh, living tight in it. So, uh, I'm just gonna leave it for now. Just the top is hung up. So I'm just gonna leave it for now. Follow this one straight down, right down there, right down that slope right there. And then I gotta make my trail up to the road after. There's a bit of uh, another, another part of the tree over there, right? So I just got that flare out, so that'll act that far side there, that'll act as holding wood as long as I don't cut it. That's pretty windy. Oh, it's a steady wind, it's not like it's howling or anything. It's a light, steady wind. Okay, let me just uh, adjust this here. There we go. Um, nope, what am I doing here? Okay.
Thought it was. Go back in there, cut some more. Get all this out of the way for you guys. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I had too much on the far side there. I didn't want to get pinched, so I didn't stop cutting the, the first time. Okay, I gotta start uh, cutting the trail down the road now. Woo! Actually, I'll get this little guy here. Now I'll cut the trail down the road. Okay, I think that should be it for this video. Thanks for watching. <laughs>